So we've created one area rule and we've tested it. Going forward, we're going to create state rules and test those. Recall that state rules are rules that fire when some attribute or attributes that are not location fall within certain bounds or outside of certain bounds. Now I'll use the plural of rule here because we're actually going to create a main state rule and we're going to create what we call a closing rule whose job will be to send the event that gets generated by the main rule into a closed state. That way a human being does not have to do that. It happens because of some conditions that are met and it happens automatically. Let's go through the steps that we followed for the area rule, but there's going to be more steps because we're gonna have both a state rule and its corresponding closing rule. And again, I want you to keep in mind that all the work that's done in the admin section here will make the life of the user that creates the actual rules easier. So we're gonna start off by creating a new event type that we will call high temp event type. So this is the type for the event that gets generated when a rule fires and the rule will catch when the temperature of the asset or, or actually very strictly speaking, the temperature of the tank, which is one of the, which is a ch child of the tank car asset. When that temperature rises above some threshold, then an, ev an event of this type gets generated. Now let's give the event type a human readable name. Uh, let's call it high temp event type. There it is. Severity, priority, once again, completely up to you. Action type, send an email. This too has a life cycle. So check that checkbox. The open state is gonna be temperature is high. The closed state is gonna be temperature is not high and strictly speaking in a real system you probably will have uh, an upper limit and lower limit for temperature so that if the temperature of the asset is above the range it's high uh, it's a high temp state and if it's below the range it's a low temp state and it has to be within to be normal or something like that but i'm going to keep this very simple the temperature is going to be high or not high and i'm going to go ahead and create that event type for the main uh, event that will be generated when the main rule fires. Now I mentioned that we're going to have a closing rule and when the closing rule fires, it will create an event or it will generate an event as well. So we need an event type for that one. So let's go ahead and create that event type. And I will call this event type and I'll keep it very, simple, not high temp event type. And I'll give it that same name, not high temp event type. Severity priority uh, up to you. No action. This event is not supposed to send an email. Its job is to, to close another event that was generated by the other rule. And so we leave uh, that alone. And we also don't need a life cycle because uh, this is only gonna be used to close an, another event that was generated. So let me go ahead and create that. And so now we have the two event types for the two rule types. Now let's go ahead and create the actual rule type. 